Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no much will depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos today is Thursday, the 15th day of February 2024. I bring you news update. We are feeding on leaves while you are living in an affluent manner. Northern youth tells Tinibu. Yes, the Northern youth. Yes, a group of Northern youths lamenting the hardship they are facing calling on Balatinibu to redirect the movement of Nigeria to a more prosperous direction. Otherwise, say Nigeria will go up in flames. The youth protested the increasing cost of living. Yes, they say the economic hardship is biting harder that they are now eating leaves. So they pluck leaves, they boil or they cook and eat. Say so nothing again remaining for them. With no food to eat, just the plucking of leaves, cooking it and chewing it. While Tinibu and his men, they enjoy in Abuja in affluent manner. Yes. The youth were protesting. They even burnt the Nigerian flag while protesting the cost of living and the, the rising cost of living and the economic hardship they are facing. They say this is just the beginning. Not up to one year Tinibu's administration commenced. And this kind of thing is happening to Nigeria. You say they are not happy about the whole thing. So they set ablaze the Nigerian flag, bemoaning the precarious economic conditions they are facing. Yes, they say the government spending too much money non on non essential issues while the people are suffering. They said they voted for Tinibu into power. Say, but see their situation. Say they are feeding on leaves. Tinibu is living in an affluent manner. They are, they are calling on Tinibu to reduce the prices of goods, particularly food items. Food items. According to the youth, they said a packet of spaghetti is now 700. Said so they cannot afford it again. That's what the other youth are saying. That spaghetti is very important to them. They mentioned that, look, it's better that Nigeria did not win any match again. Or any contest again. They say they're happy over the loss to quote Avery. Yes, in the 2023 African Cup of Nations final that was played last Sunday. They say this is very good omen. Say they, 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 they like it. They want it to be happening like this. So that Nigeria will be losing in every contest. It will help to redirect Tinibu so that he will focus to the current hardship people are facing. Yes, so that's what they're saying. And they call on Tinibu, say Tinibu, redirect Nigeria. Redirect Nigeria, we are facing untold hardship. Yes, so that is what they're saying. They are burning down the Nigerian flag, the Northern youths, saying they are hungry. They're only feeding on leaves now, okay? But what is the bulletin of response to all this? Of course, you recall that uh, in his New Year message, Tinibu called on Nigerians and urged them to persevere. He admitted that he is carrying out a radical economic reforms that might plunge Nigeria, majority of them, into hardship. But it was necessary for the economic prosperity that would follow. That's what Tinibu said. He said the time may be rough and tough. So, however, his spirit must remain unbowed because tough times never last. He called on Nigerians that look, the period calls for tough persons and they should never flinch, never to falter. They said the social economic challenges of today should energize and rekindle their love and faith in the promise of Nigeria. That's what Nibu said. But the other you said they are tired of everything. They are tired of everything. Yes, they are burning down the flag. So what are we not talking about? These are the things we are saying. Okay? During the election hearing, this is not a use. We are so, you know, they were saying all manner of things. Yes, ethnic bigots, we are saying. Religious, uh, you know, religious uh, bigots, you are saying. Yes. So they were all then supporting 
because of religion, because Tinubu is a Muslim, and therefore the majority of the Northerners who are Muslims, they were supporting him, not minding who will govern them all right. Yes. So the Nigerian system has been like that. Support based on who he is and from my side is of the same fate with me. And that is it. Not whether he's competent, whether he would you know bring the deliveries, whether he will you know bring prosperity. Just about he's my brother. Just really just fanatic fanaticism. Yes. Ethnic jingoist. Everywhere. Bigot in religion. Based on religion and ethnicity. That is what he has to do. Be gods everywhere. Nigeria is churning out. Be gods. And that is how it is. Nobody is interested in building Nigeria. So the youth, they burnt down the flag. What does it mean? They are fed up. Yes. So we are saying that every day you are seeing new things that will show you that Nigeria is, you know, a country that will never survive. Yes, you see development that will point to you that look, it's a failed state. The end of the road. Nothing, nobody will salvage it. So that is it. For those of us who are in the southern part of the country, supposed to realize all these things. If the northern youths are burning down the flags, what about you in the southern Nigeria? Those who say they own Nigeria, it is their own. They are now burning down. The symbol of the country, the green white green flag. So, what's your take? Why are you struggling to keep it one? Those who said it is their birthright, Nigeria is their own. Their forefathers, their forebears, their ancestors, they told them that they own Nigeria, it is their own. So, what's happening today? They are fed up. They said they are tired of everything. They are burning down the flag of Nigeria. So, if this thing happened in the eastern part of the country, they say, oh, it's because they are doing uh, Biafra. In the northern Nigeria, they used to say they are fed up. They are tired of everything. So, in the southeast, Biafrans, this is an eye-opener for those people who are, speak, who are still, you know, who have been deceived by the political level with Two cup of rice, one one naira. You have seen what is happening in northern Nigeria. The youth burning down flag, Nigerian flag, because of the poverty. Said they are fed up. Look at what's happening. The hardship is too much, unbearable. They have seen that nothing is going to happen again for the betterment. Everything has gone wrong, and no way out of it. And so. They are burning it down. This is in the South East, in Guide your loins, guide your loins. Be prepared for the future. Yes, the time for liberation is almost at hand. Freedom echoes. You have suffered a lot. You have toiled. You have worked for your freedom. And gradually, gradually, the freedom is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yes, you have struggled for this over the years, for decades, it will certainly